Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back. I'm Boomy and today we are watching Is Australia OP by Tier Zoo. Yes, this is another suggestion by Ryan Hart over here. Um, yeah, Australia. Well, from what I know, Australia is basically home to almost all of the nopes. Um, <laughs> if, if you don't get re that reference, I'm so sorry. But yeah, uh, Australia is basically a mini Africa when it comes to things that can kill you. Um, we're not just talking about like large things while Africa is probably home to the like the bigger predators Australia is who is probably more known at least in like general internet culture home to a lot more of the smaller nopes <laughs> things that are hmm, shall we say nightmare fuel well at least for some of them I'm not saying it's all of them but yeah <laughs> Uh, we're gonna see how how treacherous this really is. Um, obviously, we're gonna be focusing more on the animals and not the like environment itself. But I won't be shocked if we're also gonna talk about how dangerous uh, Australia actually is, because I've learned that um, Australia as a continent, as big as it is, there's really not a lot of places where there are people living there they're mostly stuck in the coastlines i think and while there are like some small towns in the middle of australia it's mostly very uh i wouldn't say deserted probably like very select few people would actually live there due to its inhospitability but yeah i guess we'll see so remember if you like my reactions don't forget to leave a like let me know your thoughts on the video down in the comment section below and consider subscribing also leave your suggestions on what i should check out next that being said let's go ahead and watch the video yeet <laughs> what a dick <laughs> when creating a character, it's important to take into account which server you plan to play on, as well as the current state of the meta on that server. Most builds don't have the mobility required to change servers, so you want to make sure you know what you're getting Swiggity. into. <laughs> but which server is the best yeah, choice for it you, is still funny. and which abilities can give you a leg up on the competition there. This is the first of a new series which will examine all of those things and more. Today we're taking a look at one of the more notorious servers, Australia. Mm -hmm. Australia is known for being one of the most dangerous servers. Yep, I mean, look at that. Look at that. There are only a few places here that you can live on. Most of it is just desert and probably too hot for, like, normal living. And not to mention all the things that can kill you. <laughs> ...servers in the entire game. Oh. And this is by no means unwarranted. There are a few reasons why the meta there is so scary. Reptiles as a whole are generally mid-tier. We've talked on this channel a good bit about how most snakes are garbage and how the unique moves available to lizards generally don't end up being worth the investment. With that said, the Australian server seems to be the one with the most high-tier reptiles. It has mm -hmm. not one, but two different groups of crocodile builds. One of which being the Saltwater Crocodile, the highest ranking crocodilian build Ooh. in the current expansion due to their super broken zero to death combo and health regeneration ability. It's also got most of the top tier lizards, the Monitors. While the best Monitor monitor lizards. players opted to play almost exclusively on the island server of Komodo, Australia's got many of the runners-up, including the Parenti. It's also got plenty of the more gimmicky lizard players, too, but I digress. <laughs> Australia is the only server where there are more venomous snakes than there are non-venomous ones. Which wow. means snakes, on average, are actually one of the top builds there. You may remember from my snake video that the top tier snake build is the Cobra, and while they don't have the intimidating hood ability, Australia's Inland Taipan, Brown Snake, and Tiger Snake are all technically Cobras. They've got the same well-rounded base stats and neurotoxic venom you see in your classic Cobra build, which brings me to my next point. Venom is so dangerous because it takes only a single wrong move and just a single bite or sting to spell the end for you. And Australia- Okay, so I think, I'm not sure if this is the way he's going, but um, from what he says, I'm just gonna surmise that because there isn't a lot of places where people live in Australia, if if you get bit somewhere isolated in the desert, you probably won't have enough time to get help before you die. 
Australia is packed full of players who would be more than happy to do just that. I've already talked about snakes, or not. but it gets worse. Going for a swim, but picked the wrong spot. One brush with the box jelly, and it's game Ooh, over. Jellyfish. Reaching into a confined space. Pretty risky Ooh, when yep, the spiders. funnel web spider could cost you everything. This isn't really a specific <laughs> trait, but rather just the uniqueness of everything there. Most experienced players will be able to jump into a new playthrough on a new server and have a general idea of what to expect when they encounter a novel build, simply based on there being similar <laughs> builds on other servers. But what on earth are you supposed to expect when you meet something like this for the first time? What are its weaknesses? Platypus? Strengths. Nothing about its appearance gives you any idea at all about how Was to that go a about platypus? combating it. And the same goes for quite a few of the most popular builds there. Let's see what we have here. I think this is the platypus. I forgot what the name of this is. Ah, uh, this, I don't know. I'm Obviously, it's a koala. We got the kangaroo. Is this an emu? The relative hmm. abundance of jank makes Australia a really unforgiving place for newbies. While all of that can definitely be frustrating to play against, it's important to also recognize all the things Australia is lacking in. Number one, a lack of tanks. The best tank builds tend to be mammals, which opted Oof. for high defense and HP. <laughs> this tends to come at the cost to mobility, making it difficult for tanks to function what as What is that thing? And so most tank players tend to choose the herbivore faction. Unfortunately, Australia's abysmally low rainfall means the spawn mm -hmm. rate for plants is too slow yep. to support a large herbivorous tank. This leaves the rushdown and ambush-based builds without a counter and lets them get away with strats they otherwise shouldn't be able to. Number two, a lack of powerful mammals. One of the reasons reptiles do so well on the Australian server is because instead of having to deal with their worst hard counter, carnivorans, they instead are faced with a different group of mammals, marsupials and monotremes. Ah, uh, the smaller ones. Around the bush here, these builds are mostly low tier for one very specific mm -hmm. reason, low intelligence. The majority of marsupial players go for the small general. Man, um, when it comes to koala, the first thing that comes to my mind is uh, map path. If you don't follow um, game theory back, well, not really in its early days, but, in, well, not game theory specifically. Uh, I'm more looking towards uh, GT Live, their live streaming channel. Um, Matt Pat went on a rant when it comes to koalas. I think, yeah, yeah, it was koalas. Um, the well, they were playing uh, Life is Strange, so <laughs> he rants about Chloe be being a koala because uh, koalas are very picky eaters. They normally, um, man, I forgot the whole rant, but yeah, they are picky eaters, and even among the food that they eat, they it has to be very specific, so they're basically useless. So yeah, if if you haven't seen it, I, I urge you to go ahead and um, search for that video. I don't know if somebody clipped it or made a shorter version of just the rant. But yeah, it's in one of their um, Life is Strange 1 videos. It's it's so crazy <laughs> what, what the koalas are. Generalist approach. Similar to rats and raccoons. But they're missing what makes these builds so effective. Trash Problem pandas. Solving. <laughs> Marsupials, such as wombats, wallabies, opossums, and kangaroos, all lack the perk that allows most mammals to access higher intelligence-based abilities, the Corpus Callosum. Since they don't have this, the best strategy is to drop the general's playstyle in favor of the mobile herbivore. This is actually what makes kangaroos the kangaroos. only marsupial builds to break out of low tier and find their way into actual relevance in the meta. Hey. While they aren't tanks, they've essentially taken Not really high, but at from least. the rabbit or gazelle build and made it bulkier at the expense of intelligence. But dude, have you seen those absolute units of a kangaroo? Where they are all muscle? I'll try to include a picture here, but they can get pretty beefy. But even so, if you compare competing builds that have similar stats and strategies, intelligence is almost always the tiebreaker. It's why even though they're relatively new to the server, dingoes and feral cats are oppressing their marsupial counterparts, like the thylacine and the quoll. Which brings me to my last point. Lack of stability. The Australian meta is at a major tipping point. While there's no meta that went unaffected by the Anthropocene expansion, Australia saw the highest influx of new players and also the highest rate of quitting of any current server. Ooh. Even though more unique builds exist there than almost anywhere else, the high tiers are mostly full of invaders. Dingoes, cats, 
Humans, <laughs> cane toads, rabbits, and yellow jackets all conquered the server because they exploited the weaknesses within the meta. Since things are changing so fast, it's difficult to offer advice on how to succeed in Australia, but I'll give it a shot anyway. First, Venom is one of your biggest concerns when trying to break into the meta there, yep. so putting some points into Venom resistance can go a long way. Builds like the Mongoose, Honey Badger, Boar, and Secretary Bird have done well in other servers by using their resistance to Neurotoxin optimally. And I could see builds like these being serious contenders if they gained a foothold in this oh, region. Oh, wow. Second, and this would they be much more difficult. They are ganging up on that. Kangaroos are kind of getting away with success that they don't deserve <laughs> simply because they're too big to beat without risking a lot of damage. <laughs> a build capable of one-shotting them with a stealth attack or simply overpowering them with strength and bulk could find itself reigning supreme. Big cats like the Jaguar and Leopard could excel there. But I could Oof, even see cheetahs from above, them, especially since there aren't lions and hyenas to bully them. Bears would also be an excellent choice. Nothing here could stand up to a charging grizzly. Lastly, in my True. very first video, I discussed how the cane toad's optimized poison ability allowed it to spread across the Australia server unchecked. While they're definitely a tough build to beat, intelligence-based bird players seem to have found a way to defeat them without triggering their poison effect. This advanced technique means Australian corvids could potentially have a niche <laughs> all to themselves without spending any points to unlock poison resistance. So there you have it, an in-depth rundown on the state of the Australian metagame. This was a bit different from my normal tier list style videos, so if you enjoyed it and want to see me cover other game servers, the comments below are your best way to let me know. Special thanks to my patrons for bringing my monthly pledges out of freefall and allowing me to continue bringing you guys top tier content. If you're still here, I do have a shout out slash wholesome story I'd like to tell. Let's I'm not going to drag this video out, it. so instead I'm just going to let you guys read the story in the video description. Aww. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I'll see you all in 2018. Okay, that was Australia, I guess. Yeah, um, it, it's really not us. Just like, um, how do you say this? Uh, just like Africa, Australia is not a server you want to play on if it's your first time because... That is not an easy server to play on. But yeah, if you want to check out the wholesome story, go ahead and uh, check out the video. It will be down in the description. Um, go ahead and read the description of the original video as well. So yeah, that was Australia. I mean, not much insects as I was expecting. Uh, just a few shots of spiders here and there. So I guess I was wrong on that one as well. Then again, like I said in most of my tiers of videos, I'm not an expert on animals. And um, if anything, that's probably my most uh, weakest, how do you call this, weakest branch in science that I know of. So, not that I know much of anything. So, yeah, take, take that information as you will. Um, but yeah, regardless, very interesting video. So, it's basically a smaller smaller africa minus the bigger predators that's why some of the um smaller ones with more um well let's just say assassins right because that's basically what what the venom users are assassins so um we were seeing that assassin builds are basically the most predominant builds in australia so yeah very interesting video as usual but that's gonna be it for me today guys link to my twitter is done in the description below go ahead and check it out if you want to and if you're new here and enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like let me know your thoughts on the video down in the comment section below and consider subscribing also don't forget to leave your suggestions on what i should check out next that being said thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all next time bye